equals. The group's members met on a Hornsey Rise council estate where Grant, Lloyd, and Hall were school friends at Ackland Burgley. In late 1964, Hall suggested that they form a band. John Hall on drums, Eddie Grant on lead guitar, Pat Lloyd on rhythm guitar, Derv Gordon on vocals, and Lincoln Gordon on rhythm guitar became the equals. The three guitar lineup continued until 1969 when Lincoln Gordon switched from rhythm guitar to bass. At first, the Equals performed in London and gained a following with their limitless energy and a distinct style fusing pop, blues, and R&B plus elements of ska and blue beat. They often opened the bills at shows by visiting American R&B and soul artists such as Bo Diddley, Salman Burke, and Wilson Pickett. A neighbor of Grant's singer, Gene Ladder, put them in touch with President Records, whose boss, Edward Kastner, heard them and agreed to sign them. The Equals released their first single, I Won't Be There, in 1966, followed by Hold Me Closer with Baby Come Back as the B-side. It did not do well in the UK, but after DJs in Europe began playing Baby Come Back, it went to the number one position in Germany and the Netherlands. 1968 saw the release of I Get So Excited, which reached the top 50 of the UK singles chart. The subsequent reissue of Baby Come Back in early 1968 reached the top position in the UK, giving President Records its only number one hit. In June 1969, the group received a gold disc for a combined 1 million sales of the disc. A string of single releases followed, several of which charted in the UK, including two further top 10 hits, Viva Bobby Joe in 1969 and Black Skin Blue Eyed Boys in 1970. Their main songwriter was Eddie Grant, with contributions from the Gordon Brothers, Pat Lloyd and John Hall. Though the majority were on traditional teenage pop themes, some such as Stand Up and Be Counted, Police on My Back, and the funky, black-skinned, blue-eyed boys touched on social and political issues. The band also released several albums on President in quick succession seven and four years, including Unequaled Equals in 1967 and Equals Explosion in 1968 both of which reached the UK Albums Chart. Several of their albums were repackaged by RCA, President's Distributors for the American Market. According to the band, Kastner did not allow the band to tour the US because of problems that might have arisen because of their multiracial lineup, though the band did tour other parts of the world, including Africa. They made regular TV appearances on programs including Top of the Pops in Britain and Beat Club in Germany. The band also gained attention for their colorful clothes, foreshadowing the glam rock style and for Grant's occasional dyeing of his hair blonde and wearing a woman's blonde wig. In September 1969, all five group members were injured in a motorway car accident in Germany. Grant was the most severely injured and as a result left the touring version of the Equals while initially continuing to write songs for them. In January 1971, Grant suffered a collapsed lung and heart infection following which he returned back home for him. From this point on, he decided to pursue a solo career. Grant opened his own Coach House Studios in 1972 and started Ice Records in 1974. He produced albums for various artists and released solo albums that gained success in the UK charts. He later moved to Barbados and released his most successful album, Killer on the Rampage, which included the hit singles I Don't Want to Dance and Electric Avenue. Grant continued releasing albums, exploring different genres, and promoting local artists. In 1988, he had a hit with the anti-apartheid song, Gimme Hope Joanna. Grant pursued other business interests and built up his Blue Wave studio. He continued releasing albums, including a remix of Electric Avenue in 2001. Grant has received accolades and performed at notable events as well. 
In 2021, he sued Donald Trump's administration over the unauthorized use of his song. And just recently, in 2024, Electric Avenue and a couple of his albums are finally on music streaming services. In 1980, The Clash recorded a cover version of the equal song Police on My Back. In 1981, the band T-Slam translated to Hebrew and covered I Get So Excited on the Israeli edition of their debut album, Loud Radio, and outside of Israel, the album featured an English-language version of the song. In 1982, due to German public demand, concert promoter Rainer Haas contacted Pat Lloyd to get the Equals back touring in Germany. Consequently, later that year, Pat Lloyd reformed the Equals and became the registered trademark and copyright owner with Eddie Grant. The Equals then consisted of Pat Lloyd, Dervin Lincoln Gordon, Ronnie Telemac, and Rob Hendry. Lincoln Gordon left the band shortly after its reformation in 1982, and the same year, David Martin, who had been a temporary member between 1973 and 1975, rejoined permanently as lead guitarist. In 1996, the Equals released their album, Roots, mainly written by Pat Lloyd with contributions from David Martin. In 2006, Willie Nile released his cover of Police on My Back on the Streets of New York. The Equal song, Green Light, was covered by the Detroit Cobras on their 2007 album, Tide and True. Pato Banton scored a UK number one with his cover of Baby Come Back. Chelsea Handler described a meeting with Pat Lloyd in Chapter 6 of her book, Are You There, Vodka? It's Me, Chelsea. UK two-tone band The Specials covered the equals black-skin, blue-eyed boys on their 2019 album Encore. In 2017, Derv Gordon left the equals, and later that year, two members joined. DaCosta Boyce on lead vocals, previously of the funk band Heatwave, and Mark Haley on keyboards, who previously worked with the Kinks. In March 2019, Keeling Lee, previously with Groove Armada, replaced Martin after they toured Vienna. Between 2020 and 2021, the Equals went into the studios to make a new album, and in May 2022, they released a single, Nobody's Got Time, written by Eddie Grant. Nobody's Got Time reached number one in the legacy charts for three consecutive weeks. Today, the Equals continue to record and tour in the UK, Europe, and worldwide, increasingly influenced by funk and reggae. Pat Lloyd is the only founding member of the Equals that remained active in the band since their formation in 1965. And that's what happened to the Equals. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And give me some facts about this band that I failed to mention and let me know who I should do next. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.